Hi, this is Paris Wolf, teaching cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, and comment if you have any questions. Today we're going to take a look at public key infrastructure and then digital signatures. So a public key infrastructure stores all the public keys and is trusted by all parties. So if you work in a company, each employee will have a public key that is stored in the public key infrastructure. So if employee A wants to send employee B an email, their system is going to reach out to the public key infrastructure. It's going to grab employee B's public key and it's going to encrypt that email with employee B's public key. Now when employee B receives that email, they're going to decrypt it with their private key. So in summary, it's encrypted with public, uh, employee B's public key and then decrypted with employee B's private key. Now the public key is widely distributed and can be freely shared with anyone. And for the PKI, it's used for encryption. It's a one-way formula or asymmetric. The private key is kept secret and known only to the key's owner. It's used for decryption. So example two, the sender will encrypt the email with the receiver's public key, and then the email will be decrypted with the receiver's private key. So digital certificates. So digital certificates is when a signer digitally signs a document and that document has a cryptographic hash. So it takes all the document, the, all the contents, and it runs it through a hashing algorithm such as SHA-256. Now that hash is generated for the document and it's encrypted with the signer's private key. Now when the receiver, when you send that digital signature out on that document, the receiver is going to verify your identity with the public key. So the recipient can decrypt the encrypted hash with the sender's public key. A cryptographic hash is again generated on the recipient's end and it matches for authenticity for the original hash that was created on your side and then when, on when they receive that email on their side. So it's signed with the sender's private key and then decrypted uh, with the sender's public key. So it's almost the exact opposite of public key infrastructure because when you're encrypting an email, you encrypt it with the receiver's public key and then the receiver decrypts that email with their private key. But if you also digitally sign that document, you're going to sign the document with your private key and then they're going to decrypt that signature with your public key. So here's an example. A business wants to digitally sign a certificate and send it to a customer. The business digitally signs their certificate with their private key. So whenever you're signing, it's always done with the private key and whoever's signing it, it's their key. The customer will then verify their identity slash signature with the business's public key because it's the business that is signing it and sending it out. Example two, the, a certificate authority wants to digitally sign a certificate and send it to a business. So the certificate authority will sign the certificate with their private key and then the business will verify their identity slash signature with the certificate authority's public key. So in summary, the sender signs a certificate with their private key and their identity is verified with their public key. So public key infrastructure and digital certificates. So we're going to take a look at the conglomerate example. Employee A wants to send employee B an email, an encrypted email, and also digitally sign it. So employee A will encrypt the email with employee B's public key. Employee B is going to decrypt that email with their private key. Now, the email is also digitally signed with employee A's private key, and the email signature is decrypted with employee A's public key by employee B. Now we're going to take a look at a little bit about the process here. And when the computer receives an encrypted email that's also digitally signed, it, the first step it does is verify the digital signature and then it decrypts the email. So digital certificates. A digital certificate is a digital document issued by a trusted entity known as a certificate authority or certi certification authority. The purpose of a digital certificate is to bind a public key to an individual device or service or person, for example, in, within the company. The digital signature on the digital certificate provides a way for others to verify the authenticity of that public key. 